Part 5, Section 1, Chapter 18 of Short History of the Christian Church by John Fletcher Hurst. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter 18 The Influence of the Puritans. It would be interesting to trace the influence of Puritanism on the civil and religious history of the United States. It must suffice here to mention two or three particulars wherein we reap the fruit of the Puritans' seed-sowing. Earnest intellectuality has stamped the American mind from the beginning. The Puritans were students and thinkers. They were accustomed to the everyday discussion of the profoundest problems. They would listen without weariness for two or three hours to the treatment of grave theological subjects by preachers who spent twelve or fourteen hours in their studies every day. The classics and modern philosophical writings were extensively circulated in the northern colonies. Edwards describes the delight with which he read at fourteen Locke on the Human Understanding. Two institutions were a part of every new village, the school and the church. This has made New England the mother of liberty and learning, the training ground of authors and statesmen. From thence has radiated light to all parts of the country, for New England sent her colonies into New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, and all parts of the West. Nor has the heroic moral fiber of the Puritan character been without its influence on American history. The morality of the Puritans may have seemed at times grim and stolid, and they doubtless had a morbid conscientiousness on some matters, but this was only an exaggeration of what has really been the saving virtue of American life. Wherever their influence has gone, there has never been a widespread looseness of living, a feature of civilization which is not unknown in modern Europe. In spite of sad demoralization which now and then marks our public affairs, there is always a sound and healthy foundation of moral sentiment with which politicians must reckon. The Puritan strain has been the salvation of our public life. The strenuous religiousness of the Puritans is another quality which has entered into the achievements of all branches of the American church. In no country in the world is church life so full and strong as in America. We may believe that the influence of the Puritans in this particular has been most beneficent. They have always stood for a learned ministry, emphasis on preaching, and high ethical standards in preachers and people. Nor should we forget that, although the Puritan had a narrow theology and guarded with intolerant jealousy his providential inheritance, the deeper elements of his theology and the bent of his nature made it inevitable that he should lead the van of progress in both theology and civil affairs. If a Puritan was intolerant, a Puritan protested against it. Personal independence, loyalty to God and to him only, an everlasting searching of the divine oracles, a detestation of priestcraft and kingcraft, it was impossible that men with these elements in their very lifeblood should not be the heralds of the better day. The supremacy of God, of law, of conscience, of truth, the sense of freedom and of the grandeur and glory of spiritual realities, it was these mighty facts of which the Puritans were the heralds, and which have been the guardian angels of every onward movement in our history. End of chapter 18